Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. Today I'll be discussing about the clinical uses and the adverse effects of the opioid drugs. So the opioid drugs they have basically derived from the plant opium, which is the very common the poppy plant. From the poppy plant these opioid derivatives are uh, derived and they are widely used in the treatment of various medical conditions and they have certain side effects also. So the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made as to how we can easily remember the clinical uses and the adverse effects of the opioid drugs they can be better remembered if we just remember look at the four alphabets of four the initial alphabets of the alphabetical series that is the a b c and d just by remembering these four alphabets a b c and d we can have a quick we can make in um in in our mind we can have a clear view as to what are the clinical uses and what are the adverse effects of the opioid derivatives so the first A, when looking at the clinical uses, again it can be categorized in the form of A, B, C and D. So the clinical uses corresponds to the A will stand for the, they are widely used in the as an analgesic. A stands for analgesic action. That is, they are widely used in the treatment of acute left ventricular failure. The B, these uh, opioid derivatives or the opium opioid drugs, they are widely used as in using they are used as balanced anesthesia B stands for the in the using it as balanced anesthesia which is can be used as a pre anesthetic medication and as a neuroleptic analgesia the third clinical use can be better remembered by the alphabet C that is it is used in the treatment of cough in the patients of cough we can use uh, opioid derivatives and the various derivatives of opioid are used in the treatment of cough. The D corresponds to the diarrhea in the treatment of various diarrhea. These opioid derivatives, the drugs derived from the various opioid derivatives are used. Now just a quick review as to how what are the adverse effects of the opioid derivatives. So again they can be better remembered if we just look at the first uh, four letters of the alphabetical order that is a b c and d the first adverse effect can is corresponds to the can, it can lead to apnea and allergy that is a stands for apnea and allergy so apnea is that the patient becomes a um, shortness of breath can occur all right and allergic allergic reactions can be manifested all right the b of the um, the adverse the next adverse effect that is the B of the alphabet correspond that that their patients which are who are on opioid drugs they can experience a fall in blood pressure and there can occur blurring of vision as well so the B stands for the blurring of vision and there is a there can occur a fall in blood pressure also the C stands for the that are another adverse effect which can be remembered as the uh, from the alphabet C that it is it causes uh, constipation and if it is used for a much chronic period if these drugs are used for a much chronic uh, period or a longer duration they can lead to tolerance and dependence too. The last side effect or the adverse effect by the fourth alphabetical alphabet that is D it can cause dysphoria and dysuria. So viewers this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can easily remember the clinical uses and the adverse effects of the opioid derivatives in the form of a simple mnemonic A, B, C and D and the adverse effects too can be better remembered in the form of A, B, C and D. So viewers, if you do like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.